take a quick analysis of the royal wedding yesterday. And if you watched it, what was your favorite part? What really stood out for you? And where did you feel, mm -mm, they, they, didn't, they didn't nail it on this one? And I have two gorgeous women with me here in studio to sort of take us through this. I have none other than Rosemary Tekka. She is the CEO of Splendid Weddings. And close to um, Rosemary is Nazira Dala. She is the owner of the next bridal boutique in Kenya. Ladies, thank you so much for your time. Thank you for having me. I'm guessing us. you took time yesterday to also watch the royal wedding. Um, Rosemary, I'll start with you. What was your favorite part of the entire ceremony? Oh my gosh, the favorite part was uh, when she walked down the aisle yeah. and that she actually chose to walk down by herself at the beginning yes. and then be joined later by um, her father-in-law. Yes. Yeah, that was beautiful. That was beautiful. It was, yeah, it brought Nazir? tears to her eyes. Uh, the best part was... Um, that uh, she was so relaxed, she wanted a natural wedding, mm -hmm. and uh, the whole atmosphere looked very relaxed, mm -hmm. not the prim proper royal kind of a wedding. Mm -hmm. it, it was different from mm -hmm. the time of Kate Middleton. Mm -hmm. For we, Kate Middleton, it was a bit too extravagant? It, it was, mm -hmm. very, I, formal. very mm -hmm. formal, and she wanted it very natural. Mm -hmm. So people, I think, felt more comfortable um, attending the wedding. Do you feel as if, because here you have two different communities, the British community and the American community, mm -hmm. do you feel as if they had um, well represented the American community? Within Completely. I mean, from the choir to the to the yes. priest to the violin, I mean, they, they really brought in both uh, cultures together, right. very well together. and. It, it was so different, like For, oh, yeah. nothing like what they we fused expected. it well. Yes, it was very good fusion. I think they did a great job. Yeah. It was a mixed crowd, um, not something you would expect mm -hmm. ten years ago at the right. at the chapel, yes. a wedding, a royal wedding, right. happening like that. Mm -hmm. So that was really good. I think that um, uh, that's how it should be because you know the the, the way the queen is and. Uh, uh, her stern rules, and it seems that uh, Meghan has bent some of the rules. She has. <laughs> she has. Speaking yes. of how stunned she is, the mm -hmm. Queen, yes. rumor has it that that was not even the first dress that Meghan had chosen. <laughs> the Queen wasn't so happy with the first dress. Yes. Um, so she, the Queen still plays a very vital aspect mm. still for wedding ceremonies, still mm. today. Mm. Mm. Yes. Um, let's even talk about, because um, you already touched on the aisle, mm. but before we come back to that, mm -hmm. Hollywood royalty yes. was well represented. Oh, yes. Yes. From Idris Elba, Oprah Winfrey, yeah. Serena Williams, yes. uh, Priyanka George Chopra, Clooney. <laughs> Johnny, yeah, George and, Clooney. And her beauty, his beautiful, beautiful wife, that yellow dress wife. she she wore? It was she was so the best dressed lady. I think so too. She was. Yeah. She was Beautiful. literally the sun. Uh, yeah, she shone like the sun. <laughs> <laughs> she was um, too good. Priyanka Chopra was there as well. She was Elton there, John yes. who also performed yes. a year later at the reception. Uh, yes. I think he That's did, what yes. He said, so. yeah. mm. What did you think about the entire, um, we're calling them Hollywood royalty? Um, who was your favorite dress? Okay, <laughs> everyone <laughs> says it was Amala Looney for most everyone. Yeah. Who else stood out for you? Um, I loved what Serena Williams wore. Mm -hmm. It was a simple rose gold dress, mm -hmm. and um, she she stood out in her own way. I loved the long, flowing. Braves. Yeah, that was beautiful. That she did. Yeah, that was beautiful. Nazira, apart from Clooney's wife, because mm -hmm. we all seem to be echoing <laughs> yeah. exactly what everybody's talking about. Yes. yes, apart from Clooney's wife, yes. who else stood out for you? I think um, uh, Priyanka Chopra looked very nice. Sure, um, mm. George Clooney's wife, uh, Amal, oh, mm. I loved her outfit. I yeah. think she looked stunning. Yeah. Um, I think everybody looked very nice, apart from, well, I was a bit confused uh, seeing some uh, guests wearing black mm -hmm. to the wedding. Like, I think um, uh, Victoria Beckham. I was, yes, she was, she was, I was uh, yeah. shocked. Yeah. I, that's, that's it was like she was attending a funeral. <laughs> I'm sorry to say that, but I was, was quite, quite shocked yeah. with a black uh, fascinator, yes. uh, a black suit, which um, and she didn't you wouldn't look, wear to She didn't look wedding, happy right? at all. She did it just not. Victoria Beckham being Victoria Beckham. Yes, and, no. and in <laughs> fact, while the ceremonies were going on, she had her head down and it looked so sad somehow that that was my yeah. uh, you know, opinion. opinion. Which so many people will say the same thing. Yes, as well. and you it wonder is like she at a royal wedding mm. or is she at a funeral? And she almost wore the same tone yes. just with Kate Middleton back wedding. in 2011. Yes, she did. You guys noticed that as well? So it's quite interesting. It's, it's, it's interesting, yeah. it's a bit odd, right? <laughs> it is. Let's I talk about the men. 
David Beckham looked gorgeous. He mm -hmm. Idris Elba he looked awesome. Very, very um, awesome. I think George everyone Clooney's just went out. George Clooney was yeah, uh, wearing grey. He looked yes. very, so very yeah. elegant. Yeah. So even the men really outshone themselves this yes. They went all out. Everybody just went all out. <laughs> <laughs> they all, yes. yeah. all right. Mm. Let's talk about a few other details. And I'm great and I'm happy that both of you are sort of in this industry. So mm. details is your key point. Mm. Uh, the ring itself, diamonds were from Botswana. Yeah. Um, I, had, I read that they had about 17 lemons in the cake alone. Yes. In the cake alone, yes. Um, the flowers were chosen and handpicked by Prince Harry himself. Yes, he was uh, very involved as a That girl, was which really is not something, something we see every day. Right? And I think for me, the many things that were so different is that, like, from the cars, you know, in here, our weddings, we have to decorate the cars and write the names of the couple on the cars. Yes. I mean, it was so simple clean, very very simple. clean looking cars and just very royal Nazari would you say that that's the way we should go something yes. clean and simple so, too I much think clean so cut. I think even the gown uh, was very, uh, very simple. simple no embellishment um, mm. very classy I think it's a, it was a timeless gown mm. and uh, that's what I always uh, uh, tell the brides to be that uh, it doesn't mean if there's a lot of embellishment on your gown, it, it, it's a wedding dress. Mm. It can be very simple, classy, mm. chic. Fashion mm. critics say that some are saying it's too simple. It's too simple for I a thought it was too and simple. Okay, she needed something, something on her waist. <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah. Yeah. She that did shock the world. She yeah, did. it was a complete shock. Complete shock. 33 million very well kept secret. Just the dress alone cost 33 million candies. Can you yeah. believe that? And when we look yes. at it, we're like, where did that money go? <laughs> I know. <laughs> you know, the fabric must have been... Very expensive and, uh, fabric, I guess. It didn't seem like uh, yeah. there was a lot of fabric. Like the gown it, tail was yeah. not that long. Exactly. Yeah. But so the, the, the veil, veil had a lot of significance to it. I, mm -hmm. I don't know if you read yeah. about it. Yeah, that it was five meters long. Mm -hmm. uh, it had flowers from 53, 53, 53 uh, states. Yeah. Of, oh, the of the yes. Commonwealth, yes. And there was also a poppy from California, mm. her birth sta state. Mm -hmm. So mm. it had just a lot of things. Just the veil, like on yes. the edges of the veil, you could see it had some flowers. And those flowers, yeah. they were all put together from different states. That is, that is beautiful. Yeah. Okay, on the veil, she won. But the dress? The mm. dress was a bit too simple. Yeah. It, it was and from a good designer. Dress was quite interesting as well. I mean, Sorry? I've seen pictures. Her second dress was oh, also... The second good. dress, very yes. Very simple, yes. Yes, it was very simple, high, high neck, neck, white mm. dress. A uh, bit of silk and organza, I yeah. think, fitted. Very well. Uh, her shoes were matching. They yeah. were also White. made out of silk yeah. in some light blue color. <laughs> so very the, simple. The second dress, the, yes, the evening into. one, which yeah. is also gorgeous as well. Mm. Um, let's talk about this too, as a couple as well. They have broken so boundaries. So it has started at also a debate on racial marriages yes. because who ever thought that a black or a woman who with Get black jeans royal would royal ever family. be within the royal family? Yes. I'm not sure if you ladies have seen that viral photo when uh, Megan was around 15 years old mm -hmm. on a holiday trip yes. to London she took a photo mm -hmm. uh, be and behind was the castle mm -hmm. only 22 years later she's actually living in, in the castle yes. 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 let's talk about this dreams are valid and their dreams are dreams valid, are valid. And, yes. yeah. and their relationship <laughs> just a little bit yeah um, they haven't dated for the longest no, no I think about years. a year a year, two yeah. years, yeah. max. Mm. And then they were introduced by a friend. Yes. What do you think about the whole the whole scenario and these two together? I think they're the, they they're, they're such an amazing couple. I think the relationship just goes to show, and they're so real. Like they yes. were talking. Yes. They didn't yes. just sit and watch everything that was happening. They were talking to each other, telling each other nice little things. It was so romantic. <laughs> he was so emotional. He was so emotional. He kept wiping off tears from yes. his eyes. I mean, that's that's what we know, want in our wedding. That, that's when you wonder. Like when I was seeing him emotional, I was wondering. Like there's somebody sitting next to me, and we were chatting and. Uh, thinking, what is he thinking of? I, I know it's a very happy event in his life, mm. but also looking back at his childhood, mm. missing his mom, mm. who would have loved to see him on that day. Mm. And uh, he Just looked quite thoughts. overwhelmed yeah. and uh, emotional, I mm. thought. Do you also agree with the whole emotional factor? He was quite emotional. Was. Even before uh, Megan came into yes. the chapel, you could see he was quite trying to be composed as a prince. Yes. But quite emotional as well. And let's talk about the fact that he also didn't get rid of his beard. Because a lot of people were, in, yeah. were saying that that could have happened. Yes. Yeah. I mean, he walked down and I was like, he didn't get he a, still a has beer cut. He didn't yes. get a... 
he just I think he just wanted to be himself. He yes. didn't want to change his look or yes. he just wanted to be natural and just and who knows, she fell for that. Yeah, that's what she probably <laughs> loved. Yes, you know, because know. I know, I honestly know people <laughs> who, love beard. Uh, who <laughs> met who would meet this guy with beard and uh, they love him the way he is. And imagine yeah. on, on his wedding day, he shaved off and looked somebody different. different. Yeah, because they do uh, look different without a beard oh, if you use He would have looked very beard. different. Yeah. And yeah. Um, she's a bit older than him too, so. so yeah. I don't know. I guess the maybe, beard helped a little bit. <laughs> maybe, yes, that would help a bit too, I yeah, would think. Yeah, I guess. Uh, but I also have to ask, in regards to um, the specific wedding ceremony, one of the things that I th think that also stood out for me was the fact that they had about 2,000 members of the public all the way outside yes. watching it, which was sort of a way of saying that this is not just a royal thing. Mm -hmm. We're involving we're also here. the crowd around yeah, the world. About 300 million people were watching it from yeah. across yes. the world yeah. as well. Yeah. Um, I think as people within this industry for you, mm -hmm. Nazira, what would you say is the one thing that stood out for you, you take away home that you feel like you'd also want to start, you know, putting it in your day-to-day -day activities with the, with Next Boutique? Uh, about uh, the, the wedding, how the... Mm. Well, yeah, I think uh, it should be a very relaxed event. Right. Uh, don't take it too seriously. Yeah. <laughs> I know it happens once in your life, but yeah. uh, I mean, looking at the royal wedding, and uh, how relaxed everybody was, um, say something that, you know, we can it is that. an important yeah. event. Um, just, just let go and things will fall in place. Mm -hmm. Right. As Rosemary. a wedding planner, I have so many things to say. Mm -hmm. She didn't have bridesmaids. She had oh, little yes. girls yes, yes, and, and page boys, and that did it for her. There was no, you know, the way a bride goes through so much with bridesmaids, the yes. headache of the dresses, yes. her, did they fit on time? She didn't have none of that. She said that she couldn't yeah. choose from all her she didn't want friends. To, yeah, she didn't want to pick out and yes. meet some, so she decided, you know what, I'm just going to do. And she, she did her. She just did her, you know. I, she I, was. She didn't. She didn't conform to what the world thinks she should have done. She yeah, yeah. Yeah. I think also so, uh, there's a message to all the brides <laughs> to be out there. Uh, I have noticed uh, in the bridal business that uh, when a bride decides to get married, the top priority on her list is her maids. Yes. It's Ooh. a very. Yeah. Um, uh, I think it, it's a very. Um, uh, difficult decision for them to, to make because it depends going. how many maids are there mm -hmm. and uh, I find it a bit odd when a bride walks in and she's not looking for her gown right. but she's with these six or seven maids looking for a bridesmaid's dress so mm -hmm. you know I, I feel the most important thing is to look for your gown first mm -hmm and then worry about the maids. Because what happens is it takes them a couple of months uh, looking for maids dresses because each one has their own opinion, mm -hmm. uh, the financial stress, who is going to pay for it. And uh, there's not so much time left for the, for the bride to look for her gown. Uh, and from this wedding, we, we, we see that uh, she had bridesmaids, those little girls. So definitely the decision was made by her. Yes. Um, and it made life so easy, yeah. and you know, and, and the little girls were so well trained mm. and so well yeah, behaved so and, uh, and groomed. The was carrying her veil at the beginning. Yes, I thought it was adorable. That. That I was thought it was, adorable. It was beautiful. Awesome. Yeah. So it's very important for a bride to keep in mind that the first important thing is she should start with her gown, yeah. then worry about the maids. Or not have them at all. Uh, yes, she not have, have them at all. Yeah. yeah. And <laughs> Also, uh, when she's looking for her gown, yeah. if you have six maids looking, helping you choose your gown, it's a total confusion. Yes. She'll never find a gown. Mm. Because each one has their own, own opinion. They will decide what they would wear. Mm. And, and this is your wedding. It's completely wedding. out of focus, yeah. yes. Mm. Ladies, one other thing a lot that, especially on social media, I've seen is that everyone is like, if Prince Harry can get married, anyone can get married. Because he was known as being a notorious bachelor, <laughs> yeah. moving here and there, around the party scene. Yes. I mean, he lived out his youthful yeah, life. Yes. Um, if, people were shocked, actually. Even when the announcement came through that Prince Harry exactly. is now getting married, yeah. Did you think that that also speaks volume of how perhaps how the society needs to start changing how we see bachelors, mm, perhaps? Mm. And I think the someone was quite powerful as well. They talked about the power of love. And I think for him, when he found Meghan, he was smitten. And 
everything else could he could put aside that yes. for this one woman that yeah. he found and decided he wants to spend the rest of his life with right. so the power of love the yeah. way he sorry okay. the way he talked about uh, her it seemed like it was love at first sight yeah. mm -hmm. i mean he just walked in and he yes, saw this yes, woman yes. and it, and they saw each other a lot of times after mm -hmm. so it, it seems that he felt that he's found the girl mm -hmm. and uh, i think they will do well. There's yeah. so much yeah, in yeah. love, and uh, she she's a very intelligent girl. Mm. Oh, yeah. there thing that she has a strong head on over her shoulders. Yes. Right. So. The other thing that I noticed is that I actually watched something that was quite interesting. Some of the things that Meghan Markle will have to give up mm. her yes. acting career. Definitely. I know that yes. she can't yes. sign she's autographs so anymore. Yeah. You yes. know, as a celebrity, as a Hollywood yes. celebrity, as yeah. you can. Yes. This time round, now that she represents part of the royal family, yeah. she cannot sign autographs because I they mean, can easily yeah. be duplicated. Yeah. Mm -hmm. um, she has to wear stockings now. Mm. There's something that I hear that the Queen does not compromise alone. Mm -hmm. Kate, Mary Mary told her, uh, Kate had to do the same mm -hmm. thing when she joined mm -hmm. the family. Mm -hmm. yeah. um, there's certain things that now um, Meghan Markle will have to now start leaning mm -hmm. towards and start doing. Mm -hmm. There was one that was actually crazy that I had. That At some point, even when Princess Diana was still there, they had to wait for the Queen to first go to bed before oh, everyone wow. could go to bed. Oh, but Princess wow. Diana did oh, have it for the longest. Wow. Okay. At some point, she just decided, if I'm sleeping, I'm, I'm going sleeping. straight to bed. Yeah. So these yeah. are the things that um, now comes with a new role that Meghan has yeah. to do. Yeah. She can't vote anymore. She can't be involved in politics. But then mm. we know, again, Meghan is very passionate mm. about charity and foundation yes. work. Mm. Nazira, how do you think that all this will then go to affect her? I think, um, you know, when you first meet somebody and you fall in love and it's all uh, like a dream, mm -hmm. um, it will be a bit difficult for her because she's very an independent woman. Right. Mm -hmm. uh, and uh, suddenly it will dawn in her, mm -hmm. I'm sure, mm -hmm. that she, she has to give up her career. She won't be able to sign autographs, uh, autographs at all mm -hmm. and uh, to, be, to abide by the rules mm -hmm. at the palace. Mm -hmm. I don't know about sleeping mm. before the queen or whatever. There must be a lot of stuff that we may not know about. So yeah. there's going to be a lot of adjustments for mm. her too. I mean, her life has changed forever. Completely. 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 Yes, completely. It's like a full 180 degrees time. Yes. Yeah. Look, what did you think? You know, you touched about this, but I want us to take it a bit deeper because it was one of the key issues that I feel like really stood out. The fact that her father wasn't there because of yeah. the heart surgery that he got yeah. and then Prince Charles taking her halfway down the aisle. Yes. I mean, and he said yeah. that he would gladly do it as a way of welcoming mm. her into the, the family. family. What did you so think about this whole issue with the, given that in the past we know that the father-daughter relationship mm -hmm, between mm -hmm, Meghan mm -hmm. and the dad hasn't been all that well mm. I especially after the divorce with mm, the mom. Mm. First of all, I think it was so noble of Prince Charles to do that. Um, mm -hmm. I mean, we when I saw him walking, I was like, wow, that's different. That was really Because you never see the groom's family anywhere when the bride is coming down. They just wait for her to come to the aisle, mm -hmm. I mean, to come to the altar. So that was noble of him, and it was a, a very good statement um, to show her that we, we love you and we are welcoming you to this family. So um, it was different, mm -hmm. uh, but we, we hope that in future, I mean, things will be fine yeah. even with the dad and all. Yes, it looked like she was accepted well in the family. Well. Uh, yes, I was quite stunned when I saw Prince Charles walking her down the aisle. Mm -hmm. And um, like she seems like she's part of the family. She looked very comfortable. Um, and I think, well, uh, the, the the priest talked a lot about love, yeah. and love oh, can love. change anything. Mm. So and, and it is love that they went for, mm. and um, the queen accepted that. So I think maybe that will help uh, work into any differences they may have. Do you think that they will have children? I, I, think think so. I, I think so. Family I think so. Family is a priority so. for them. I think so. Because they haven't hinted it up anywhere, even in an interview. Yeah. It would be quite interesting to see. Maybe and then let's remember that time. Meghan is three yeah. years older yeah. Yeah. Yes. than yeah. Prince Harry. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Right. Yeah. Um, and her charity work. It would be interesting to see if she would continue going mm. through with her charity work, mm. especially here in, in Africa, Africa, given this, the fact that we've been mentioned uh, some of the Commonwealth countries mm, that were yes. well represented on her veil. Yeah. Yeah. Azira, would you love to jump on that? Okay, I think um, 
she will have children, and mm. it may happen soon. Then we think. Uh, keeping in mind, uh, she's 36. Yeah. Um, and let, she, she doesn't have to worry about uh, working or the charity work is right. there, right. yes, right. which I think, um, it, it, I feel that uh, Harry is also quite passionate about. Mm -hmm. uh, Lady Diana was uh, yeah. a person who did a lot of charity mm -hmm. work. Mm -hmm. So I think uh, if sh she's well organized, um, definitely she'll have children. Wow. Yes, mm -hmm. and I what, think what so. What do you think, Rosemary? She will definitely have yes. children. I would say maybe they'll take up so maybe a year or so before they yes. have the children just to enjoy the marriage and you of know course. just grow into this new life that she's gotten into. Uh, but we look forward to that and, and yes. just seeing how all that will turn out. All right. Yeah. It will be quite interesting to see that. Where would you guess? Because a lot of guess work was happening around who um, Meghan Markle would be wearing. Mm. Another thing that was also sparking debate is where would then would they spend their honeymoon? Mm. Remember that they first uh, went to Botswana. Mm. Prince Harry has a very soft spot for that country. Mm. Um, from the top of your mind, Nazira, which destination do you think is quite popular with the royal family? I. I wouldn't be surprised if they came to Kenya. Oh, <laughs> I yes. wouldn't be surprised. Yes. Because yes. yes. we have uh, beautiful greeneries. Mm. Um, and we have a history with the history, royal family. History, yes. Yeah, history. So mm. I wouldn't be surprised because in Malindi, I, th there are some beautiful mm. uh, places where you can be in the quiet. Mm. I think that's where Beckham and Victoria mm. were found before mm. they got married. Mm. Yeah. So it, it's very highly likely that uh, they might choose Africa. You will be surprised. Yeah. All right, Rosemary, for you, you, you think their destination, where is the top I destination? I was going to say Africa, maybe <laughs> South Africa, but mm -hmm. also Zanzibar is a very good destination, so right. who knows, they have beautiful beaches out there. All right, mm -hmm. only time will tell, I guess. Only time will tell. All right, um, so ladies, thank you so much for your time thank and you. helping thank us really dive into this. But before I let you go, I have to ask you again, because this is your place and your area of expertise mm -hmm. with the boutique and, of course, with the, as a wedding planner. Mm -hmm. um, what is that one thing for you that we feel like even though as Africans we can borrow a leaf from the royal family we've already mentioned the aspect of perhaps not having your bridesmaid yeah what is that one thing for you that you'd want to start incorporating um, I love the simplicity of the decor okay we don't know how the reception looked but the church was so she just picked places to to define uh, the arches and the entrance so I would like to see brides moving away from mm -hmm. the yeah, like doing too much in the church and just leaving the beauty of the church to be seen and just concentrating on a few places. And something else, of course, the bridesmaids. Yeah, I'm yeah, going to be is... all out for just have your maid of honor or just have it. Yeah. And it's less stress. It's less stress. Less stress. Less stress. Less stress. Um, I, I, I was focusing on the gown. Mm -hmm. Very simple, very yeah. chic. Yeah. It's a timeless gown. It was um, very decent, mm. of course, with the rules at, uh, uh, right. at the royal... Uh, family how they want it, yeah. uh, no shoulders to be shown and uh, um, I think it was beautiful, simple, classy, yeah. timeless and um, you meet people who want very flashy gown, tons of beads and then you add more. So something, I think this will be the trend now and uh, brides who love bees, yes it's a dream, it's your dream, you can have that, mm. but they might slow down on that. Mm. I think simplicity well, will simplicity be is key. Uh, yeah. accepted Even more now. Even the foliage, yes. there's so much foliage in her flowers. Yes, yeah. 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 that's right, ladies, true. Thank you so much for your time and helping us understand thank this, you. even behind the scenes, yeah. in terms of the d events of the details, yeah. detail of the events rather. Yeah. 